Well, praise the Lord, child of God. It's good to be back with you again. Have a brief moment with you. Just share a few things from God's word. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm puzzled by how confused people are about finances and how, how different they think about them than what really absolutely is the truth in God's word. Now, for instance, uh, just today, I want to take four, just four simple mistakes that people make about money. And uh, it, uh, possibly you're making that mistake. And I'm hoping that maybe this will help you uh, to, uh, to get into the position where you can really enjoy what God has for you. We'll look at them. For instance, number one, I put down here, God doesn't want you. Uh, it's a mistake to think that God does not want you to prosper. See, that I've had people say, well, maybe it's, maybe it's not God's will that I prosper. Maybe it's not God's will that I have money. Maybe it's God's will that I live with a 30-year mortgage the rest of my life. Well, child of God, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says uh, in Psalms 35, 27, it says, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. It makes God happy when you prosper. Do uh, you think it makes God sad if you get your mortgage paid off? You don't have to make car payments. These things make God happy. And see, God is not uh, sort of involved in your life. He's in your life every day. You know, the hairs on your head are numbered and you lose 50 to 100 hairs every day, according to what I'm able to read. And he's got to be back and recount your head several times a day just to keep up with where you're at. And if he's visiting you to count the hairs on your head, don't you know that he wants more than that for you? So we hear mistake one. People think, God, maybe he doesn't want me to prosper. Maybe he doesn't want me to have wealth. And then mistake number two, uh, that is, and many have this feeling, they don't have the ability to make finances. Well, I'm just glad I got this job. I don't want to rock the boat. I don't have the ability to make finances. Well, Deuteronomy 8.18 says, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth. And the context of the 17th verse is that they said, we by our own hands did this. And God said, look, those hands, those hands you have right there, I put the power in them to get wealth. And see, he's no respecter of persons. If he did it for anybody else, he'll do it for you. And he says, he put power in your hands to get wealth. So there's something in you that God put that makes it possible for you to have exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think. And then uh, mistake number three, that the best things in life are free. That's a tremendous mistake to think the best things in life are free. The best things in life, for instance, the very best thing in the world, the very best thing ever, anything, cars, houses, palaces, lands, everything, uh, is your salvation, your salvation. And God did not get that free. He didn't ask an angel to go do this or a cherubim or a seraphim. He himself, in the form of his son, came and died on the cross for your sin. And it's the precious blood of Jesus Christ that saves you. See, God does, uh, he, he teaches us that the best things in life are not free. For instance, the winning of souls is not free because the Bible says, how will they preach except they be sent? And uh, feeding the hungry is not free. You have to have finances to do that. So be real careful about the best things in life being free because the best things in life aren't free. We feed some children every day in Managua, Nicaragua. They have breakfast with, with Sister Pat and I every morning. Breakfast is prepared there by Feed the Hungry. We pay for it. That would not happen if we didn't have the finances. That's a whole lot better than the sunshine on my face and a, and, 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 a, and a beautiful sunset to look at. All those things are free. But I'm gonna tell you what, the real things of God are not free. The real important things are not free. And then another one, a mistake, that the offering is the time God gets money from his people. It's not the time that God gets money from his people. The offering time is the time that God sets you up to put money into your hands. God doesn't need anything. He said, if I was hungry, I wouldn't even ask you. I'm, if I was starving to death, I wouldn't ask you anything. He said, well, the fields, all the cattle on a thousand hills are mine. Everything belongs to me. Why would God be trying to get your money? He's trying to get money to you. Even Luke six thirty eight. listen how it says, give. And then God will have a lot. No, it says, give and it shall be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, chicken together, running over, exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think it'll come back into your hands. Now, uh, now watch with me real close. This is the way it works in the kingdom of heaven. Simply works. 
Matthew 25, 14. That steward, that one that now is the steward of the merchant that's traveling, which is a type of God working with man in finances. It says, for the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. Didn't say he delivered from them their goods. He said he delivered unto them his goods. So God wants to put finances in your hands and the system he uses is seed, time, and harvest. And as you sow, you will get back seed to eat, the Bible says, but then some for sowing. And then people, I've said, well, I don't have anything to sow. Well, the reason you don't have anything to seed to sow is because you might not be a sower. God says he gives seed to the sower. So I encourage you, get the straight things about money. God wants you to have it. God to give you the ability to have it and get it. But make up your mind that as it comes, a portion of it always has to come back into the kingdom of God. Bless your heart. Good to be with you these few minutes.